715, shaka. If you want to get a smile from anybody, throw them the shaka. But where did it come from? Steve Sue is the director and writer of Shaka, a story of Aloha. Ryan Ozawa, our tech, tech expert, is also associate producer on this project. Steve, you're doing something that's called Sneak Peeks coming up, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, so we've finished the film. We have a rough cut, and we're asking the public to participate in what I'd call democratized filmmaking, which means watch a film, comment, give us ideas about it. Like, did we miss something? Is something inaccurate? Do you have memorabilia to add? And we're even taping people at the at the sneak peeks so that they may even end up in the film. Oh, wow, into the final product. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I'm imagining you must have gotten a whole bunch of stories on where the shock just came from. Oh, man, so many. But in the film, we have at least half a dozen origin stories of where the shaka came from. So our goal is to put all the stories out there, let the audience decide in the end what is the origin that they want to believe in. Not so important the origin to me. What's more important to me is what does the shaka mean? What is the aloha spirit? How do we activate it in the world? So we're kind of on a mission to bring aloha to the world. Okay, we'll talk about more about the sneak peeks and who can do them, who can go in just a couple of moments. Ryan, we have products here to show, right? Right. I mean, um, one thing that's been great about Steve's project is that the film has sort of made people think about bigger things and really making a movement out of it. This is a uh, art project that can be deployed in schools and you can um, just come up with found objects. This is like recycling things from around the home to make a shaka sign or shaka symbol and you know enter it, share it with the world. But um, over at projectshaka.com, we have a number of initiatives. We want to work with the State Department of motor vehicles to do a license plate with the shaka sign on it. Nice. We want to work with, with a, this one. Yeah. We need that, especially uh, driving. The big, ah. A big shaka monument, perhaps, some, somewhere in Waikiki or somewhere central where people come and take selfies with it. We want to um, get an emoji, an official emoji, not the call me emoji, which is pointed in the wrong direction, but a genuine shaka emoji. Okay, so what's the website for this now? It's projectshaka.com for okay. the bigger stuff. Okay, now, let's sneak peek, let's go back to that. You're looking for people to go ahead, anybody can see this, so if, like, businesses, uh, employers want to gather their Schools, employees. Schools, nonprofits, anybody that has ability to get a theater somewhere, because obviously there's a lot of theaters on school campuses, um, but, you know, it could be this TV station. Let's do a showing, okay. bring some people in, totally free. Um, if nonprofits want to show it, they're able to do fundraising outside of our film, meaning that if they have like a, a mixer or something, you know, do a silent auction, that's totally cool. But for the film, we want it to be free because it is a sneak. But you, it's testing. Not only want to get people to see it, but you want their reaction and feedback yeah, as well. Yeah, so they take an exit survey after they see the film. Okay. If then we they, do a Q&A, all that, you know, normal filmy stuff. Okay, if they want more information, where can they go get it? ProjectShaka.com is the, uh, the larger site, but shakafilm.com is where you can sign up to be a host for a sneak peek. All right, that's where you can go. We'll put these links up online on our website at hawaiinewsnow.com. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in this morning. Thanks for having me, Billy. Mucho de shaka to you, and we'll be back.